Here's another example of a piece that was done. This is actually my logo. The whole concept was called Noah's Art. I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like an ark. There's a giraffe here, and this is the sun, and this represents the waves. And I loved it so much that I had to make a frame and hang it on the wall. And now this one, you can see both sides. It's here I used an aluminum frame. This was done before having the parts made for the scavenger to go in, but it gives you a good idea of what it is. The problem with this technology was the micro-thin seals that I used were so delicate, and this one, they're little metal clips that slide in, and the problem was, or the challenge was, how can you put those metal clips in without damaging the seals? With wood frames, we use a metal, sometimes nails, but brads that were shot. You squeeze down on the artwork and the backing, and right along the surface of the seals, these metal brads went in, and they were sharp enough to shoot in, and the edges weren't that smooth. So the issue was, would these brads or would the nails or whatever we were using damage the integrity of the seals? At the time, what I needed was a material that I could use as a barrier that would protect the seals. And it wasn't until recently that I designed and developed something that was thin enough and flexible enough, whether it were for this thickness that I needed here, or whether it was the thickness that I needed here. You'll notice that there's a lot more mat boards in this one than there is here. So there's more thickness on this one than there is there. So I needed something that was flexible enough that would accommodate the different thicknesses because I would have built this out even further so that I wouldn't need these metal clips that are used inside here. But I just didn't have what I needed at the time. So this is what I ended up with. But today, if I had it to do all over again, I would go around the edge with this material and right around to the back, then I could actually shoot brads into it and it would be perfectly safe and I would be concerned about destroying the integrity of the seals. But this is 20 years later. If we only knew then what we know now, right? But that's what got me started with patenting things and inventing things to begin with because I did get a patent on this technology and it was called it's a hermetically sealed enclosure for a display object. That patent has expired but the passion for what I was doing hasn't. And people today don't buy limited editions like they did in those days either. But nevertheless it was what I was working on and that's what got me started and so now here we are years later and I'm still working more or less on the same project because in addition to all the other things that this material does, it solves that initial problem that I had. Anyway, that's what got me started. Thank you for watching.